Welcome to the uh, raw power centrifuge from WVO Designs. We've been testing this in our labs and playing with it. This consists of a centrifuge bowl, an outer bowl, a quick connect fitting to take the centrifuge bowl off. There's two ports. There's a port on the outer and there's a port underneath this for draining out the water as well. It also comes with a handy lid. On the lid has the dispensing knob or dispensing port and then it has an air breather port and then an optional port for doing all sorts of things. We've been using this port today to introduce water to the centrifuge just to see what it does. It also has this really cool heater that we'll be testing as well. And this is a 120 volt heater. Um, oil basically comes in this side, flows up and through it and then into your centrifuge so you've got heated oil going into your centrifuge. This is our testing setup to test the centrifuge. We have a carboy full of nasty oil. This stuff comes from McDonald's. And then we've got a tube that goes over to our centrifuge. This is our heater. It's got a heating element here in it. We then have the centrifuge that's spinning. This is our good oil out. It goes to this barrel. And then this is our bad oil out. It comes down to this carboy. So we'll uh, spin this up and get it running. We're just doing a gravity feed here. Just reach up and let some oil come through. We've got our heater on. You can set this with a thermostat here. It's nice and warm. Notice it's got some very different things we can set it at. We set it about 70 cc, which is about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got this nice hose that comes up through here, and it goes into the centrifuge, and away it goes. <clears throat> this is our controller. We have it set right now at about 3950 RPM, and we're just going to centrifuge some of this oil away. You can notice that there's some oil coming into it already. If we look in here, we can see that the oil flows from this into our centrifuge and then into our uh, outside bowl. And it's just gently putting oil into our centrifuge. If you look in here, you can see the oil riding against the inside of that centrifuge. And as we introduce more oil, the good oil will come up and over and down our outlet side which is on, uh, on this side over here and the oil when we turn the centrifuge off the bad stuff should flow over there. But we're going to start seeing a lot of oil flow through over here. I'm going to turn this on here so you can see it in action. Notice the oil will flow right up to the sides. Put our lid back on and run a bunch through and see if we can't get any residue out of it. What we hope to see is really, really clean oil coming out of this port. And when we stop the centrifuge, the nasty stuff will come over here. I've turned it up to the full 6,000 RPMs, and I'm just letting the oil flow in slowly. I can hear it hitting the sides and coming out, and we'll slowly start seeing more come through our, come through the side of the centrifuge there. 